Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. In this tutorial we're going to be making a simple screen shaking effect. But first, this video has been live now for some time on my Patreon page, that's patreon.com forward slash RM2K Dev. So as always, a special thank you is in order for those giving support over there. If you're interested in helping fund the creation of more videos like this, then please consider donating a few dollars to help pay for the expenses that go into the creation of videos like this. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. With that said, let's get started. So I've got a really simple project here. This is just a basic screen shaking effect. It's kind of a top-down shooter. You just click to shoot bullets and as you can see, we've got this uh, screen shake happening on screen right now. This is a very simple screen shaking eff effect and it's quite easy to set up and get implemented. So I'll give you a run through of the code and then we'll go ahead and create one ourselves. So what you'll notice is I've got a player object, um, basic player, you know, this is a really bad input system, but it gets us moving with the W, S, A, and D keys. We also have a global left release. This just creates an instance of the bullet object and sets the camera's intensity to five. Now this is the value that we use to adjust how intense our screen shaking is. The bullet object, again, is something very simple. It just has a direction and an alarm. When the alarm fires, it destroys itself. That just makes sure that we don't have however many bullets we've spawned floating around the world forever. And in its step event, it takes steps in the direction that we specified. We also have a bush that does nothing. Uh, and then the action that's really going on here is all happening inside of this camera object. So we have a create event which sets up a, a default intensity of zero. Then we have a step event and we'll get into the creation, we'll get into the inner workings of that in a moment. Finally, for our room, I've just created a room, uh, placed a player object in there, and we also have this camera object, which is on the world. Now, the view for the room is set to follow the camera object, and the reason for this is because you cannot manipulate the view's um, position data in a step event uh, after it's already set it if you're following an object. So it just doesn't work like that. Um, so what we do is instead we make the view follow an object that we want to manipulate and then we can apply the screen effect uh, to that object. So let's jump into the step event for the camera and essentially what happens is we reduce the intensity over time. So if the intensity is you know greater than, greater than one or it's five or something like that, then every step event we reduce that and then we set it to a maximum of zero. So it can't go below the number zero. Then all we need to do is calculate a random offset for the X and Y value for the screen. And that's just going to be um, two, two random values. It's just a random number from zero to whatever intensity currently is. And then it's also a random number from zero to the negative or the inverse of whatever uh, intensity currently is. We do the exact same thing for Y. Then all we need to do is make this camera follow the player. Very simple script. Um, player... Uh, x equals object player dot x plus screen shake x offset and then we do the same thing for the y offset and essentially what happens is the camera will follow the player around and uh, if the intensity is greater than one then we'll get a random number on these shake offsets and that will essentially make the screen shake so I'll give you a quick demonstration again of how this works this has been an insanely quick tutorial I, I did say this is a really simple screen effect and um I hope you've enjoyed this video. So there you go, there's a screen shaking effect in I think that was about three and a half minutes. The quickest screen shaking effect tutorial on YouTube. So thank you for watching and bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also check out my Patreon where you'll find videos like this going up early. If you're interested in that sort of thing, they will go there before they go onto YouTube. So you will get a bonus from uh, sending over some Patreon patronage or whatever i don't know what the what that word what the word is but um yeah i hope you've enjoyed this and i hope it helps you with your games and uh very simple very 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 simple thing to implement don't forget to leave a like and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye for now